hey guys what's up welcome to our channel linux temple and last time i made two videos about ubuntu 21.04 the first one was about how to install ubuntu and in the next video i did this review and if you want to watch those videos please go to the playlist and search for the related videos and as i promised you that i will make another video about things to do after installing ubuntu 21.04 so here we are and today in this video we'll be discussing on 13 essential things that needs to be done after installing ubuntu 21.04 and here we'll be discussing mainly on the most important parts because right after installation of ubuntu i was not even able to play my audio and video files and similarly i was not able to use the wireless device wi-fi and bluetooth in my laptop and many more things we'll discuss and we'll be doing most of the things from the terminal so I'll be leaving the commands in the description also so that it will be easier for you to copy and paste so please check the description guys and if you find this video useful I request all of you to please like this video and subscribe our channel this really motivates me to make further Linux tutorial related videos in the future okay let's begin so here this is the default state of Ubuntu 21.04 and first we'll start with the updates so let's go to software updater here now this will check for the updates so here's the update details some updates are available for my system so I'm going to install all of them now by simply clicking at install now So I need to enter my password here. So this is now going to install the updates. So now all the updates are installed. You can see the software on this computer is up to date okay so we're done with the updates and next as i told you that i was having the issue with my wireless before uh, since the driver was not installed so so here we have additional drivers so you can install drivers for your computer from here additional drivers as you can see broadcom wireless driver i installed broadcom wireless driver from here and now i'm able to use the wireless in my laptop so you also can check for the additional driver installation so if i don't use this device i won't be able to use wi-fi and bluetooth in my laptop so i want to thank ubuntu for this driver support And here I want to show you that I got a video file here. Here, these are some videos. These are the screen recorded videos. So if I want to play these videos, so here you can see, unable to play the file. You can't even play videos. No one to out of the box because the media codecs are not installed by default. So we need to install media codecs. So for this we'll go to terminal. So we have terminal here inside utilities. Here. And in order to install the media codecs. So you need to type the command. And I'll be leaving the commands in the description also. So that you can copy and paste. So here sudo apt install ubuntu restricted extras and hit enter and then password so press y for confirmation so you have to select ok by using the tab key ok and then use arrow key to select yes enter and 
Now this installation process is finished. I guess all the required media codecs must be installed by now. So let me confirm it by playing the same video again. Okay, this was the video file. So as I open it, you can see. You can see we can play this video files now. Okay, and next we are going to customize our desktop. And this is purely a personal matter, so this may differ from person to person. Okay, because choices are different. But here I am going to make my desktop look good as much as I can do. So for this. We have to go to settings and there in the appearance so first i want to choose the window colors to dark because i like this and this theme is more eye pleasing than before okay and next as you can see if i maximize this window i'm not able to use the whole space from the screen since the dock has occupied some space so if I want to use the whole space there, uh, for this I need to select this auto hide the dock. So you can see since I enable this, so now we can utilize the whole screen here. And this dock will disappear when it overlaps with some other windows, you can see. It will hide and it will show up again. Okay, and next I want to reduce the width of the dock. So I guess this 40 is large enough. So I want to reduce this to this 30, I guess. 30. And this looks better now. And also, I have to drag this file, these icons here. Now the desktop icon seems to be large compared to the size of the icons on the dock. So, in order to reduce the size of these icons in the desktop, just right click and then go to settings. So there you have option for size for the desktop icons which is the standard by now by default and I want to choose tiny so this looks better for me now so this dark theme looks better than before and also we can manage the, the favorite apps in the dock like this since I use terminal more frequently so I want to add this in the dock just by simply right clicking on it and then add to favorites so there you can see terminal in the dock simply click on it to open the terminal and in the same way you can add the apps that you use most frequently in the dock and after desktop customization, now we are going to install some necessary apps. So first, I am going to install VLC Media Player, which is supposed to be the best media player. So for this, go to Ubuntu Software. Here in the dock, you can see Ubuntu Software. And then search for VLC. Enter. So at the top you can see VLC, I click on install, you have to enter your password, so VLC media player is installed now and you can make it the default media player in your Ubuntu just by go to menu and source for default applications.
can hear for audio and video i'm going to choose vlc media player as default applications so as you play any video any video and audio here Mic. And in the same way, any audio file will be played by VLC player by default. And next, I'm going to install Google Chrome browser. Although we have Firefox browser by default, I like to use Google Chrome as my default browser. That's why. Just go to the source bar and search for download Chrome. in the first link there you have download Chrome so here you have to choose the Linux since our Ubuntu is based on Debian so here you can see for Debian or Ubuntu you can choose this 64 bit dot dev file so accept and install let's say file so this chrome dev file has been downloaded here you can see so as you click on it it will open ubuntu software for its installation and from there you can install google chrome enter your password okay google chrome has been installed in our system so as you go to menu there you can see Google Chrome. Yeah. Here's Google Chrome. Okay, I have to make this as my default browser. So, okay. So, here's Google Chrome. And since I'll be using Google Chrome most frequently, so I want to add this to favorites. So, it will appear in the talk. And next thing probably you have noticed that you can open the apps from here from the dock like this but you can't minimize the apps again clicking here you can see we can't minimize the apps in order to minimize the app we must go to the window and press here in order to minimize this so in order to solve this problem go to terminal and type the command you can check the command in the description also and enter now this problem will be solved here so here you can see we can minimize the app from the dock this way so probably you should find this feature useful and as you all know Ubuntu uses GNOME as its default desktop environment. Actually, it is supposed to be pronounced GNOME, so whatever. GNOME by default offers very few customization options. So, in order to solve this, here we have GNOME Tweaks. So, you can install GNOME Tweaks from the software center also, Ubuntu software. So, there you go, and source for GNOME Tweaks. So here is the tweaks but I have already installed this and you can find this by default inside the utilities folder so there we have tweaks just open it so there you can see various options for the desktop customization and about windows behavior appearance so you can see themes for applications, cursor, icons, sales, sound and many more, extensions, fonts, startup applications and many more. And I am going to make another tutorial video on GNOME Twix very soon, please stay tuned. And next thing, 
you can enable night light and there in the settings under the display setting we have night light this night light feature will filter the blue light from your computer screen which helps to reduce eye strain during evenings and helps to promote natural sleep patterns too actually this is the night light feature that we get in the windows 10 also and as you all know we have this ubuntu software which is the default software manager for ubuntu and here you can find different apps and packages which are required for you and if you want even bigger collection of packages then we have synaptic so here you can find many more packages than you can find in the default package manager of ubuntu so you have to install synaptic from terminal by typing the command sudo apt install synaptic password why synaptic is now installed so here you can see synaptic package manager first we have to insert password here you can see different categories suppose if you want to download gimp which is actually a photoshop in linux search for it so there you can see zimp gnu image manipulation program just click on it and mark for installation mark and then click on apply apply so now this will download and install zimp on your system so this is a must have app for those who want a bigger collection of packages which are available for linux so, so changes applied this means zimp must have been installed so let me check so here you can see gnu with manipulator okay program so this is zimp 2.10 and it is installed here from synaptic package manager and next thing that should be done on ubuntu 21.4 is to disable the unnecessary startup applications so if you want to disable the unnecessary startup application here you will see the list of the applications which will start automatically as you start ubuntu and which will consume the resources from a computer and if you don't want any of the app to be started automatically just check the program here like this and select remove and then it will be removed from startup applications and one last thing to do especially for those who use laptops and if you want to save the laptop's battery so for this you need to install tlp and you can install this very easily from the terminal so go to terminal and type the command sudo apt install TLP. And that's all. And this will help to optimize the laptop's battery in any possible way. And guys, this was for today. I hope you like this video. And if you still have some confusions, you can comment down below. Please like this video and subscribe our channel and press the bell icon. Thanks for watching.